Whoa, it's Woolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash hacking video. It's that time again. Mega hack by Absolute. This awesome client has been updated to V7.1 beta, which you can get in the link in the description down below. All you've got to do is purchase, download the beta version of the mod, and click install beta when you're installing the app, and you should get all of these wonderful options. The biggest being macros, which I'm going to show off straight away because it's sick. I'm gonna use lightning speed by laser blitz real quick and go into a practice run just to show you how it works. So I'm gonna go hit record, I'm gonna start a practice run and I can place as many checkpoints as I like. I can literally die a couple of times or just do whatever. It will take the sum of all of your best attempts and just put them all into one run that basically completes the level for you. Now, this is hacking, obviously. Let me just die a few times so I can actually like use the mod. All right, so I wanna replay up to this ship, right? I'm dead. I'm gonna hit replay and I'm going to go out of practice mode. I am not touching anything right now. The level is literally playing by itself right now, but you'll see in the top left of the screen, this works with cheat indicator. I'm very thankful that Absolute has realized, hey, you know what, this is probably hacking. It's a very sick tool that I'm gonna be able to get recordings for my videos with, like my reviews and stuff. Obviously, I'd never pass them off as legit, but it's a cool tool, right? Show trajectory is another big feature of this mod. Now, when I play Story of Madness, I can see performance mode, please. Yeah. Yeah, it lags. Okay, I see. Wait, it's still- hold on, it's still replaying my clicks? <laughs> Alright, so, on performance mode, I can actually see my exact pathing through this level. Now, apparently this lags according to Absolute's video, so if I go into a bigger level, I'm gonna use the laser blitz level as another example, this is probably gonna lag me? Yeah, it's dropping a few frames, but I can see my exact line through the level, which is so cool. I can see where I'm gonna die- this is cheating. <laughs> this is cheating. Hold on. I'm realizing I can see where I'm gonna die So it's a lot easier to sight read to be honest man. This is such a cool mod in the last episode of my 1.9 building series I created a memory ball and I haven't fully play tested it I'm dead. It's pretty funny that it showed me that but I can now see exactly which paths are gonna kill me And I can look at any paths that might accidentally be skippable, you know it's awesome for gameplay playtesting. See, look, I can make it all the way along here before dying, so maybe that's something I need to fix, right? I think this is gonna make playtesting a lot sicker because now I'm gonna know for sure if there's any skips in my level if I just play through once in slow motion. And I'm just thinking I can get showcases of my parts so much easier with insane demon stuff. I've got record turned on. I'm gonna go into practice mode. I'm in 0.5 speed hack, so I can just get a practice run really easily and really quickly if I don't mess up too much. It should work no matter what so I shouldn't be too worried about this and there's a capture feature which is insane okay hold up I need to download something for this to work 121 megabytes okay hold on so I just add this file to my GD folder also gotta remember to turn off show trajectory and I'll hit start recording right now oh my god it's actually working hold on and then I hit reset I record my macro run, okay, stop recording, and then I open the folder. Okay, so I have an audio file and I have a video file here. Oh, it compiles it, okay, nice. And I get this nice recording, hopefully with the audio in. It does have audio in, this is sick, damn. Rendering finished, you can now watch your capture. That is so, so sick. I'm gonna combine show layout and show trajectory on Para's new level, Hypermania. Also gotta remember to turn off replay. That's gonna be very difficult to remember. I just wanna see the extent that this goes to. Wow, it literally shows you everywhere you can go, really. What an insane feature to add, dude. Okay, so it's lagging a little bit because I'm trying to record a macro and also show the trajectory at the same time, but you get the idea of what's happening, right? This new mod is absolutely insane. This is like a complete other client than Mega Hack at this point. Like, this is just so convenient for anyone that's trying to get gameplay footage or anything like that. Obviously, none of it is legitimate whatsoever, but Loki, this part is harder without Deco. Hold on. To be fair, this mod is called Mega Hack not mega cheat if you know what I'm saying. Oh god, the wave goes crazy with the trajectory. Oh my goodness. Wow, it almost had no confidence in me there. Dude, it's because the object moved that it loses its mind. I see. So it's 
not 100% perfect with moving objects and stuff. It just shows you how it is in the moment, which is fine. Man, I just hope that this mod doesn't take all the essence out of GD. That's all I want. No! Why did you show me a green line if I was gonna die anyway, you stupid ass? I just want you to know that I will never claim anything to be legit if it's bothered. Not that I'm a huge completionist anyway. Also, it's nice how it switches the line that's green. Oh, that's what it means. It's like your current trajectory is green. I'm stupid, sorry. Okay, so now I'm about to get a very clean macro of Para's level Hypermania. Dude, but I already made the video and it's coming out tomorrow. I could've used this. I had more fun playing though, to be fair. Can't believe this is really about to play itself, dude. That is such a weird concept for me. Okay, so hold on. In the meantime, I can try something else, which is the pause countdown. Where is it? This. So now when I press play, I will have a three, two, one. What the heck? That's crazy. The recording seems to lag, but I don't know if that's because I've already got OBS on, but it's not playing the level in full. Like in my headset, I can hear the bam, 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 bam which is only supposed to come in like all the way back here. And you can see my frame rate kind of dead in the top right. Maybe it's cause, oh wait, it's processing in the background. Yeah, you see, it's got this video that it's trying to combine right now. Wait, but the recording's in sync. Okay, now this is confusing me. Okay, now it's in full frames. There you go. I'm literally not touching a thing. That's so insane. So pitch shifter is another thing. So if you're trying to beat Erebus or something that has a copyrighted song, you can go right in and it will start playing a pitched version of the song, which is really funny. I love that. Oh, hell yeah. This is how you evade copyright. Within Mega Hack itself. Absolute, you are a madman. You know that, right? This is such a crazy update. How is this not like a mainline update? How is this not like V8 or something? We have a whole ass phone. Shut up. Replay system. Bot system. Show trajectory. Trajectory. I can't say that. I also can't listen to that song for any longer. Something else I want to point out is cheating is the click buffering option on the pause countdown. In Polar Geist, I'm going to show you. You can press play. You can start clicking whenever to hit this orb. And I feel like that is completely bogus. That should be counted as cheating in my opinion. Because I can just go into any random demon. Let's just go into like a hard demon. I don't know. So I can pause right here if I want to hit this blue orb. I can click here. Boom. And then I can click here. Boom, and then I can click here. And that's just three free clicks that I got from just pausing and just gaming the level using hacks. Like, come on, uncool. I will not be using pause countdown nor the click buffering for that reason. High FPS rotation fix is kind of a cool one. On a really low speed, my ship would just float up and down and get stuck here and there. You see, I'm kind of descending and my ship's pointing up. Like, no, you're gonna die if you do that. So I'm guessing I can just high FPS rotation fix, exit out the level. Hold on, I'll save you some time in the loading screens. And there we go. Perfect. Now here's another big one that I've just realized. Thinking about rotations. Let's hop into the editor real quick. Let me turn on... Why would you hide preview line? Wait! That's the gray thing. Oh, so this gray line basically shows you when a trigger is going to happen. If I turn on effect lines real quick, this alpha trigger, let me just say one becomes invisible at this point and one is this spike, right? As soon as the gray line crosses the blue line, it happens. You can turn that off now. I don't know why you would do that, to be honest. That seems kind of pointless. I guess if you need a good screenshot of something, that would make sense to use. Hide UI. Yeah, fair enough. Hitbox bug fix. That's exactly what I was looking for. Let me show hitboxes. So if I rotate, this cube portal, it actually works now in the editor. That's so huge. Before, it would just place it either vertically or horizontally. You see? There used to be a huge inconsistency in the editor where a portal that's rotated ever so slightly off horizontal would play as vertical in the editor. You see, my ship turns into a ball. But if I go into normal mode, if I just extend the length real quick, I save and play, this wouldn't happen. Look, I fly right past it. So there was a huge inconsistency. Now if I enter the level with the hitbox bug fix and I play, that should be fixed. Yes, dude, that's so cool. This is huge. Oh, it doesn't seem to work with copy pasted objects. Maybe if I go out and go back in, it'll fix itself. Yeah, okay. Okay, awesome. I think that is the meat of it, to be honest. I think I covered pretty much everything that Absolute showed. What an update. Thank you so much for watching this Geometry Dash hacking video. <laughs> yeah. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day.